A former high school wrestling coach has been ordered to stand trial for murder. Tennis reporter Allison Ash is now live with the new details revealed today about a possible motive. Allison. Well, Jarrett Needham has no criminal history, and in fact, he was a mentor to dozens of high school kids. So how did he wind up killing a man who once coached right alongside him? Well, the prosecution says there was bad blood over a woman, but here at court today, his attorney said he thinks it was self-defense. Can you? Right there. Is it the place where oh, he's shown God, in this yeah. photograph? All right. That was the reaction of Tara Jones as she saw a picture of her fiance, Robert Colgrove, in a pool of blood and remembered that day in September. I heard a, a big loud noise, a bang. She rushed outside. I saw Robert lying on the ground in front of the red shed on the cement. Colgrove was shot once in the chest and died in Jones' arms. This is video of her moments after she tried to save his life. And this is video of the man who will stand trial for pulling the trigger as he surrendered to police. If you can see him, this is the suspect to understand is Jarrett Needham. Jones testified Jarrett Needham had touched her inappropriately months Jared. earlier, so there was no love lost between the two men who began fighting. When that fight ended, another roommate, Tiffany Ponce, claims Needham left in a daze. He said it real monotone, but he says, shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have done that, four times. He said it real slow and really scary and creepy. Prosecutors say Needham returned with a gun and killed Colgrove, that they found the gun in his house. But Needham's attorney claims he had a concussion and Colgrove had a knife, so it may have been self-defense. Now, about 20 people, including uh, Needham's wife, were here in court today in a show of support. His attorney tells me he also gets letters and emails every day from students and other teachers who support him. He is going to need that support, though, if he's convicted, because if he is, he could get 50 years to life behind bars. We're live at the Hall of Justice downtown. Allison Ash, 10 News.